Larry the Laramie. His uh, pronouns are he, him. Today I finally took him out fishing. That's the first time uh, he stole the boat in two months. January 7th was the last time I took him out fishing. Fortunately, the only thing I caught was three yellow bass and tiny at that. And uh, I don't have time to, I don't have time because it's getting late today and I want to fish again tomorrow. But I want to make some kind of uh, video for the weekend. So I decided to do another video about my Amazon page. Um, I've, I've had an Amazon page for five years and I've done two videos about it already. It's been two years since the last one. So it's uh, time to make another one to tell you guys that my Amazon page is still here and I still renew it. So I'm going to go and show you a few items now from my recent uh, purchase history that I do recommend. Let me start with these solar powered lights here. One, two, three. Four. I have four of them in front of my garage and I have them all around my house. I'll try to later get you a video with uh, how they look like at night but I want you first to see how they look during the day when they're not working just collecting solar power. I have them all around my house everywhere now, if you live in the city, you have lights everywhere. There is enough ambient light that you don't need it. But out where I live, this here is uh, my only light that you see. And my house gets kind of dark and I don't like that. Um, you know, enough light is the best deterrent. Thieves and other bad people don't like to go where there is plenty of light. I have these, as you can see, I mean, I have them all around my house. That's one of the cameras. I also have a few cameras around the house, but those are not on my Amazon page because I don't really like them. Um, you have to mess with them all the time. Don't think that everything I, I, everything that I buy, I put on my Amazon page. I don't want people to buy some garbage from my Amazon page. And first of all, think poorly of me. Second of all, never to open my Amazon page again. So I do filter diligently what I put on my Amazon page. So I have this, you know, concrete walkway all around the house. And I have these lights all around the house and they are solar powered. Now, if you see, I have other lights too, right over here, if you see. But these lights, I don't use them because first of all, you have to turn them on and off every night and every morning. Second of all, they use a lot of power. And third of all, when they burn out and need to be replaced for whatever reason, that's a pain you gotta get the leather that's just a pain so i got these little solar power things you don't need to install any wires i mean that's so beautiful with these things they don't need any wires they don't need nothing i mean anybody can install these and i bought these guys one year ago i bought two extra so if one of them burns out i can put matching ones i don't they have plenty of ones on Amazon, but I don't want them to be all different. But not one of them has burned uh, for 12 months. And here in Tennessee, these guides will work all the way, um, at least in the summer, they will work out all night without stopping. During the day, they can get light to work all night. It's so nice. I don't have any light here, it gets pretty dark. And you get out in the middle of the night or you come home from fishing, you wanna clean some fish, there is no light. Now I have all around the house, 
in front of the door over there I have three four I have a bunch of them so when I walk here on the concrete everything is lit up this Simpson pressure washer you saw me use it uh, last year I used it one year already it has a Honda engine they put the same Honda uh, engine on a bunch of these from different brands so I'm sure they just as good but I like the wheels I like everything except I wish the handle was a little longer but I really don't move it around if if you need to move it around long distances keep in mind I I, I wish the handle was longer but if you don't I mean I move it from here to over here that's it that's as far as it goes but let me tell you guys this is a gas one they have uh, you know electric they, they cannot compare okay electric is better than battery but gas is way better than uh, electric and people say ah you don't need you don't need okay maybe for some things for the carpet you don't need let me know where you need if you want to if you want to wash uh, you know the the marks from the water level water marks even with good soap this is challenging you want a good one and for the carpet too i like i never i don't use it on the floor but i mean this thing is so fun this is so fun to use that when i started both of my kids always come up and uh, they want to wash my boat but they're too small and too clumsy and they can't but yeah this one is um, i think i bought it 400 dollars i don't know how much it is now but I absolutely love it. I never had any problem starting it or anything. I mean, it's brand new, but it is one year old. I've used it maybe, I don't know, a dozen times for one year, like once a month. Um, I washed one carpet one time, worked great for that too. Um, it's a matter of price. If you can afford it, this thing is awesome. Talking about awesome, this guy is absolutely awesome. This is a vacuum cleaner. This is a two horsepower, two gallon a vacuum cleaner. This is uh, much bigger than the little ones with the batteries uh, that the Chinese sell on Amazon for $27. They're different colors, but they're all the same. Uh, I have had over the years two, three, four, I don't know how many of these battery powered vacuum cleaners to clean my car. I was all about wireless guys these wireless things with the batteries they all have bad reviews and the reason is they have no power it's like a torture trying to grab you you see where the the little piece of food is but it it's stuck in the carpet it doesn't want to grab it this thing has wire but i gave up on those other things if you can bear the wire which is not that big of a problem I have a little extension cord here that I use for a bunch of other stuff. I use for my compressor. I mean, I use my extension cord all the time anyway. I have power right here. If you can use this, this is strong. I promise you, this thing is strong. You get a bunch of these things with uh, different tips. Uh, the other day we have a tile floor a couple of my tiles were wobbling i removed them and you know you have to clean the grout and so much dust man this is so easy to clean as you scrape them just suck the dust right off i mean it's amazing for this once you get this if, if you have like a garage you want to uh, clean the dust from under the table um, you have a little hose the hose is also useful those ones they look like a little plastic thing but you can't reach under the table with them the hose is useful the cable is not as big a problem if you are sick and tired of these uh, battery ones that uh, have no power this one is i forgot how much 60 60 something dollars but for first time i feel i have enough power and it has enough capacity inside that if you're cleaning grout, you don't need to clean it after every tile you remove. Uh, really strongly rec recommend, very simple too. 
I mean, it's just this on the other side and you open it. It's extremely simple to use, uh, extremely user-friendly and finally strong. Howdy folks. While I'm waiting for the transmission oil to drain, and I know the car is not even and it's not gonna drain all of it, but here is what I do. This, this video has a different purpose. I want to recommend you a product, but because people will just line up to give me advice on what to do. I drain the transmission oil pan every year. I don't care about miles. I change the oil once a year. I don't care about miles. I put fully synthetic oil with high end, usually with a dealer filters. Once a year, I get between five and 10,000 miles. I don't care. Once a year, I change the oil myself with fully synthetic oil. So once a year, I don't flush the whole thing. I just drain. It drains about 2.7 liters and I put fresh oil. That's how I put 70,000 miles of towing with the Subaru and transmission is still okay. It's slipping a little when it's cold, but given how many towing miles I put on this car, it's still okay. That's not what I want to discuss with you. On my Amazon page, in the description box below, you will find a link to this product. This product is absolutely, it's a ramp to do your own simple automotive stuff. And I see I dripped a little transmission oil on my concrete there and it's red. We'll see if that comes out. But I've had quite a few ramps over the years. 20 years I've done my own brakes, oil changes, suspension work. This kind of simple stuff that's outside the car, I kind of do myself. But a lot of these boat ramps are total junk. Some of them are short and very steep and the tires end up slipping. Or because it's so steep, the tire will, it will slip out and the car will push the ramp out of the way. This one is much bigger. It's more expensive, but it's twice as long as your regular ramp. As a result of that, the slope, the angle here, increases very gradually so the car went on top of it right away i mean it was so nice to drive on top of it right away not slipping you know how you have to pump the gas when it's so much uphill then you're afraid you will go off ramp it's very scary these ramps the the angle increases very slow it's very gentle and easy to go up the ramp the other thing is well, you can't see right now, but this ramp is twice as wide as a regular ramp. It is so wide. Look at how much space I have left and right of the tire. I don't have my last ramps. I left them when I moved from Chicago because I didn't like them anyway, but they were so narrow and they have a channel. And if you're a little bit left and right, especially if you try to do it yourself, if you have someone in front of you to guide you until you stop, okay, but if you don't, is very scary. This one is so wide that you can kind of line it up, eyeball it, and it's so safe to drive up. This thing is amazing. But apart from the awesome dimensions, the biggest feature, why I absolutely recommend this, is look at this. Once you put it on, this one slides out. So now you can actually get under the car to do some work. Or if nothing else, I like to put a second jack. I'm working more on the driver's side, so I don't need two jacks, but because I'm only sliding here, I put a second jack here. Even if it gets crushed, I'm not gonna die. So this is, I mean, such incredible utility. I don't pump my Amazon page enough, but I have some good products there outside of the fishing that I really recommend to you. Go check and if you do some basic automotive work on your car yourself, like I do, go check these boat ramps, uh, these uh, car ramps, automotive ramps. They are absolutely awesome, I'm telling you. Once, once you see them in person, on video it's hard to tell. Once you see them in person, 
it's just you will tell right away oh yeah that's gonna be a different game all right thanks for checking this out i think it's time to pour the new oil by the way most people don't know even the mechanics don't know but let me show you something most cars have transmission transmission fluid filters just like an oil filters the the mechanics will tell you oh no it doesn't have well they don't know they do have let me lift this come on and i will show you on my car this subaru the transmission oil filter is right under this battery it's kind of a pain to remove the battery but it's also kind of easy because once you remove the battery you just unscrew it by hand I got a new uh, transmission oil fluid, a transmission oil filter as well. I'm going to pop this in now and I'm done for as long as this car is alive. Now, I don't change the filter every year. I changed it once when I bought the car. That was 70,000 miles ago. One second it turned and now 70,000 miles later, I'm not, going, I'm not towing anymore with this car. I'm just driving, picking up the kids from school and going 20 minutes down to the nearest lake for fishing that's it so i'm gonna change the transmission oil filter one more time in case there is uh, material from the discs on the clutch of the transmission i think that wears out with time and then that material because it's so finely chewed so fine if you don't catch it with the filter um, it goes and clogs the holes in the transmission the oil cannot flow that's why when the car is cold uh, un uh, until it warms up and the the oil thins it doesn't want to start going right you put it on gear and it slips it doesn't want to go until the oil warms up but replacing the oil and when i put the filter i think because i'm not towing a boat i'm good for another i don't know fifty thousand miles look where is the transmission oil filter by the way well that's a original Subaru part number but I was told this is also original Subaru part number from the same factory but sold from different name I shop almost for everything from Rock Auto pretty much I buy the most expensive thing that Rock Auto has and then I install it myself because labor is, parts are really dirt cheap. Labor is the whole thing. I need Rock Auto to sponsor me. I believe in them. I would recommend them uh, wholeheartedly, but they don't. But okay, apply paper towels liberally because there is a little bit of oil there. Oh guys, that's the only light that I have in front of my house nothing else around my house at all this is pretty far but look at this look at all of this free light look at all of this and if you go to the front door i have two more floodlights that will blind you that are all so free this is all look solar power look and the camera over there all of this is solar power three solar power look how nice it is here there is no light there is nothing else just these little guys look how nice i can walk around the house for free i don't need to turn it on turn it off i don't need you i mean if you're an electrician you can program it and all of that but you still have to pay money and um replace them now look it's my garage look how much light i have in front of my garage and now notice when i walk the flood light will hit me see that see that now this one is also a flood light will hit me boom and now the camera that i had here also will get good view see look at this view at night I love this little, I love, this one is 
floodlight also. I don't need to flip the switch over there. I just come and boom, the floodlight hits me. Look, all of these lights here. See, it still throws lights. I can clean fish, but if I pass here, maybe this one is not flood. Not all of them are flood because the flood ca cannot be bright at all times. So I have most of them set to like to be on like 30%, I forgot, 30 or 50% um, all night. The flood lights run with less intensity, but when you go there for 20 seconds, they will hit you with 100%. Look at this. Awesome. Alright, thanks for taking the time to check this video.